butterflies are winged insects from the Lepidopteran suborderopolosera, characterized by large, often brightly colored wings that often fold together when at rest, in a conspicuous, fluttering flight. The group comprises the superfamilies Hedaloidea and Papilionoidea. The oldest butterfly fossils have been dated to the Paleocene, about 56 million years ago, though they may have originated earlier. Butterflies have a four-stage life cycle, and like other hollow metabolous insects they undergo complete metamorphosis. Winged adults lay eggs on the food plant on which their larvae, known as caterpillars, will feed. The caterpillars grow, sometimes very rapidly, and when fully developed, pupate in a chrysalis. When metamorphosis is complete, the pupal skin splits, the adult insect climbs out, expands its wings to dry, and flies off. Some butterflies, especially in the tropics, have several generations in a year, while others have a single generation, and a few in cold locations may take several years to pass through their entire life cycle. Butterflies are often polymorphic, and many species make use of camouflage, mimicry, and apisemitism to evade their predators. Some, like the monarch and the painted lady, migrate over long distances. Many butterflies are attacked by parasites or parasitoids, including wasps, protozoans, flies, and other invertebrates, or are preyed upon by other organisms. Some species are pests because in their larval stages they can damage domestic crops or trees, other species are agents of pollination of some plants. Larvae of a few butterflies eat harmful insects, and a few are predators of ants, while others live as muralists in association with ants. Culturally, butterflies are a popular motif in the visual and literary arts. The Smithsonian Institution says, butterflies are certainly one of the most appealing creatures in nature. The earliest Lepidoptera fossils date to the Triassic-Jurassic boundary, around 200 million years ago. Butterflies evolved from moths, so while the butterflies are monopolistic, the moths are not. The oldest known butterfly is Protoceliades christensini from the Paleocene aged for formation of Denmark, approximately 55 million years old, which belongs to the family Hesperiidae. Molecular clock estimates suggest that butterflies originated sometime in the mid-Cretaceous, but only significantly diversified during the Cenozoic, with one study suggesting a North American origin for the group. The oldest American butterfly is the late Eocene Prodrius Persephone from the fluorescent fossil beds, approximately 34 million years old. Butterflies are scientifically classified in the Macrolepidopteran suborder Cladropolosera from the order Lepidoptera, which also includes moths. Traditionally, butterflies have been divided into the superfamily Papilionoidea, excluding the smaller groups of the Hesperiidae in the more moth-like hedility of America. Phylogenetic analysis suggests that the traditional Papilionoidea is paraphyletic with respect to the other two groups, so they should both be included within Papilionoidea to form a single butterfly group, thereby synonymous with the Cladropolosera. Butterfly adults are characterized by their four scale-covered wings, which give the Lepidoptera their name. These scales give butterfly wings their color, they are pigmented with melanins that give them blacks and browns, as well as uric acid derivatives and flavones that give them yellows. But many of the blues, greens, reds, and iridescent colors are created by structural coloration produced by the microstructures of the scales and hairs. As in all insects, the body is divided into three sections, the head, thorax, and abdomen. The thorax is composed of three segments, each with a pair of legs. In most families of butterfly the antennae are clubbed, unlike those of moths which may be thread-like or feathery. The long proboscis can be coiled when not in use for sipping nectar from flowers. Unlike butterflies, most moths fly by night and hide by day. 
nearly all butterflies are diurnal, have relatively bright colors, and hold their wings vertically above their bodies when at rest, unlike the majority of moths which fly by night, are often cryptically colored, and either hold their wings flat or fold them closely over their bodies. Some day-flying moths, such as the hummingbird hawk moth, are exceptions to these rules. Butterfly larvae, caterpillars, have a hard head with strong mandibles used for cutting their food, most often leaves. They have cylindrical bodies, with ten segments to the abdomen, generally with short prolegs on segments three to six and ten. The three pairs of true legs on the thorax have five segments each. Many are well camouflaged, others are aposematic with bright colors and bristly projections containing toxic chemicals obtained from their food plants. The pupa or chrysalis, unlike that of moths, is not wrapped in a cocoon. Butterflies are distributed worldwide except Antarctica, totaling some 18,500 species. Of these, 775 are in the Arctic, 7,700 Neotropical, 1575 Pale Arctic, 3650 Afrotropical and 4800 are distributed across the combined Oriental and Australian slash Oceania regions. The monarch butterfly is native to the Americas, but in the 19th century or before, spread across the world, and is now found in Australia, New Zealand, other parts of Oceania, and the Iberian Peninsula. It is not clear how it dispersed, adults may have been blown by the wind or larvae or pupae may have been accidentally transported by humans, but the presence of suitable host plants in their new environment was a necessity for their successful establishment. Many butterflies, such as the painted lady, monarch, and several Danaean migrate for long distances. These migrations take place over a number of generations and no single individual completes the whole trip. The eastern North American population of monarchs can travel thousands of miles southwest to overwintering sites in Mexico. There is a reverse migration in the spring. It has recently been shown that the British Painted Lady undertakes a 9,000-mile round trip in a series of steps by up to six successive generations, from tropical Africa to the Arctic Circle almost double the length of the famous migrations undertaken by Monarch. Spectacular large-scale migrations associated with the monsoon are seen in peninsular India. Migrations have been studied in more recent times using wing tags and also using stable hydrogen isotopes. Butterflies in their adult stage can live from a week to nearly a year depending on the species. Many species have long larval life stages while others can remain dormant in their pupil or egg stages and thereby survive winters. The Melissa Arctic overwinters twice as a caterpillar. Butterflies may have one or more broods per year. The number of generations per year varies from temperate to tropical regions with tropical regions showing a trend towards multivoltanism. Courtship is often aerial and often involves pheromones. Butterflies then land on the ground or on a perch to mate. Copulation takes place tail to tail and may last from minutes to hours. Simple photoreceptor cells located at the genitals are important for this and other adult behaviors. The male passes a spermatophore to the female, to reduce sperm competition, he may cover her with his scent, or in some species such as the Apollos plugs her genital opening to prevent her from mating again. Butterfly eggs are protected by a hard-ridged outer layer of shell, called the corian. This is lined with a thin coating of wax which prevents the egg from drying out before the larva has had time to fully develop. Each egg contains a number of tiny funnel-shaped openings at one end, called micropiles. The purpose of these holes is to allow sperm to enter and fertilize the egg. Butterfly eggs vary greatly in size and shape between species, but are usually upright and finely sculptured. Some species lay eggs singly, others in batches. Many females produce between 100 and 200 eggs. Butterfly eggs are fixed to a leaf with a special glue which hardens rapidly. 
As it hardens it contracts, deforming the shape of the egg. This glue is easily seen surrounding the base of every egg forming a meniscus. The nature of the glue has been little researched, but in the case of Pyrus brassicae, it begins as a pale yellow granular secretion containing acidophilic proteins. This is viscous and darkens when exposed to air, becoming a water-insoluble, rubbery material which soon sets solid. Butterflies in the genus Agathemus do not fix their eggs to a leaf, instead the newly laid eggs fall to the base of the plant. Butterfly larvae, or caterpillars, consume plant leaves and spend practically all of their time searching for and eating food. Although most caterpillars are herbivorous, a few species are predators, Spalgus epius eats scale insects, while lichenids such as Lifera brassolis are myrmecophilus, eating ant larvae. Some larvae, especially those of the lichenidae, form mutual associations with ants. They communicate with the ants using vibrations that are transmitted through the substrate as well as using chemical signals. The ants provide some degree of protection to these larvae, and they in turn gather honeydew secretions. Large blue caterpillars trick Myrmica ants into taking them back to the ant colony, where they feed on the ant eggs and larvae in a parasitic relationship. Caterpillars mature through a series of developmental stages known as instar. Near the end of each stage, the larva undergoes a process called apolysis, mediated by the release of a series of neural hormones. During this phase, the cuticle, a tough outer layer made of a mixture of chitin and specialized proteins, is released from the softer epidermis beneath, and the epidermis begins to form a new cuticle. At the end of each instar, the larva molts, the old cuticle splits and the new cuticle expands, rapidly hardening and developing pigment. Development of butterfly wing patterns begins by the last larval instar. When the larva is fully grown, hormones such as prothoracicotropic hormone are produced. At this point the larva stops feeding and begins wandering in the quest for a suitable pupation site often the underside of a leaf or other concealed location. There it spins a button of silk which it uses to fasten its body to the surface and molts for a final time. While some caterpillars spin a cocoon to protect the pupa, most species do not. The naked pupa, often known as a chrysalis, usually hangs head down from the cremaster, a spiny pad at the posterior end but in some species a silken girdle may be spun to keep the pupa in a head-up position. Most of the tissues and cells of the larva are broken down inside the pupa, as the constituent material is rebuilt into the amago. The structure of the transforming insect is visible from the exterior, with the wings folded flat on the ventral surface and the two halves of the proboscis, with the antennae and the legs between them. The reproductive stage of the insect is the winged adult or amago. The surface of both butterflies and moths is covered by scales, each of which is an outgrowth from a single epidermal cell. The head is small and dominated by the two large compound eyes. These are capable of distinguishing flower shapes or motion but cannot view distant objects clearly. Color perception is good especially in some species in the blue-slash-violet range. The antennae are composed of many segments and have club tips. The sensory receptors are concentrated in the tips and can detect odors. Taste receptors are located on the palps and on the feet. The mouth parts are adapted to sucking and the mandibles are usually reduced in size or absent. The first maxillae are elongated into a tubular proboscis which is curled up at rest and expanded when needed to feed. The first and second maxillae bear palps which function as sensory organs. Some species have a reduced proboscis or maxillary palps and do not feed as adults. The colorful patterns on many butterfly wings tell potential predators that they are toxic. Hence, the genetic basis of wing pattern formation can illuminate both the evolution of butterflies as well as their developmental biology. 
the color of butterfly wings is derived from tiny structures called scales, each of which have their own pigments. In Heliconius butterflies, there are three types of scales, yellow slash white, black, and red slash orange slash brown scales. Some mechanism of wing pattern formation are now being solved using genetic techniques. For instance, a gene called cortex determines the color of scales, deleting cortex turned black and red scales yellow. Butterflies feed primarily on nectar from flowers. Some also derive nourishment from pollen, tree sap, rotting fruit, dung, decaying flesh, and dissolved minerals in wet sand or dirt. Butterflies are important as pollinators for some species of plants. In general, they do not carry as much pollen load as bees, but they are capable of moving pollen over greater distances. Flower constancy has been observed for at least one species of butterfly. Adult butterflies consume only liquids, ingested through the proboscis. They sip water from damp patches for hydration and feed on nectar from flowers, from which they obtain sugars for energy, and sodium and other minerals vital for reproduction. Several species of butterflies need more sodium than that provided by nectar and are attracted by sodium and salt. They sometimes land on people, attracted by the salt and human sweat. Some butterflies also visit dung and scavenge rotting fruit or carcasses to obtain minerals and nutrients. In many species, this mud puddling behavior is restricted to the males, and studies have suggested that the nutrients collected may be provided as a nuptial gift, along with the spermatophore, during mating. In hilltopping, males of some species seek hilltops and ridge tops, which they patrol and search for females. Since it usually occurs in species with low population density, it is assumed these landscape points are used as meeting places to find mates. Butterflies use their antennae to sense the air for wind and scents. The antennae come in various shapes and colors, the Hesperiids have a pointed angle or hook to the antennae, while most other families show knob-bent antennae. The antennae are richly covered with sensory organs known as sensili. A butterfly's sense of taste is coordinated by chemoreceptors on the tarsi, or feet, which work only on contact, and are used to determine whether an egg-laying insect's offspring will be able to feed on a leaf before eggs are laid on it. Many butterflies use chemical signals, pheromones, some have specialized scent scales or other structures. Vision is well developed in butterflies and most species are sensitive to the ultraviolet spectrum. Many species show sexual dimorphism in the patterns of UV reflective patches. Color vision may be widespread but has been demonstrated in only a few species. Some butterflies have organs of hearing and some species make stridulatory and clicking sounds, 